Live from San Juan, Puerto Rico, it's theCUBE, covering Blockchain Unbound. Brought to you by Blockchain Industries. Hello everyone, welcome back to our exclusive coverage, theCUBE in Puerto Rico for the big story about Blockchain Unbound. That's the event, it's a global conference from investors, uh, Bitcoin billionaires and millionaires, as well as entrepreneurs coming to Puerto Rico to discuss the future of blockchain, the future of cryptocurrency, the future of decentralized application, partnering with the, with the island of Puerto Rico. We're here, next, our next guest is Damari, Damarius Rivera with Puerto Rico Advantage. And the big story is a lot of people are moving here for either tax advantages or entrepreneurial reasons. And Damarius and her team at the Puerto Rico Advantage help set that up. Damarius, welcome to theCUBE. Hola, how are you? Thanks for coming on. Thanks. One of the big um, rush here is, a, is like a gold rush for folks coming in, moving to Puerto Rico. But it's hard, you guys provide a service to do that for folks. Um, how fast, what is it, how does it work? How does the service work? Okay, where well, Puerto Rico Advantage came together as me, I'm a logo from Puerto Rico and my partners are American from Wisconsin. They're both Act 20 and Act 22 themselves. So when they got here to the island, it, they took like seven months to find out the whole opportunity analysis and if it, the tax incentives work for them. So when they met me, I worked previously in the government before, so I know how all this works. And I said, Let, let's come with one business that will be a one stop for each client. So when they come to us, they get the grants plus the relocation services for their business and themselves. Certainly the incentives right now are really wonderful for businesses uh, and uh, folks who are building companies and creating wealth. The tax advantages are here. There's been a uh, surge of people coming here. What's it like? What's, uh, what's, how many people are coming through? And Is it a lot of volume? Are you guys busy? Give us some insight into how it's working. Yes, a lot of people are coming to. They're moving uh, real estate uh, pretty much in San Juan area. It's gone, also uh, the other places like Dorado and Rincón are packed. Uh, when I go to the supermarket, everywhere I go, it's full of American and people from outside, and when you ask them where you're from, and they will tell you from Puerto Rico, <laughs> they're all already calling themselves Puerto Rican. So it's very exciting yeah. and a great opportunity for us. One of the things I've been impressed with is the acceptance and the blending of the, the, the island folks and people coming in. Uh, take me through an example. Let's just say hypothetically, hypothetically, I wanted to move to Puerto Rico. What do I do? I call you guys up and say, hey, get me a flat, get me a house. I need security, I need a car. Do I need a driver's license? Do I need insurance? I mean, what has to happen? Take me through. And how do I, and what happens for me? Is it turnkey? Is it easy? What do you guys do? What do I have to do? Take me through a use case. Okay, first when the client calls, uh, if, it, if it's interested in Act 20 business, uh, they will tell a little bit about their business and then we can say if their business qualified. Uh, then we will take them to the CPA and work everything about the grant. It usually takes two weeks, depending on all the info the client gives us and the quickly, and I will manage everything in the government agencies. For the residential part, we, take, we schedule them meetings when they have kids to the great private schools here. We help them with the real estate driver's license. They do need driver's license. I take them to get their voters ID, everything. We have like a draft, a checklist, with everything they need to qualify for a resident, <laughs> a Puerto Rico resident. And we take them and make the process very easy for them. So they write a big check to you guys <laughs> for the service, but it's they, you guide them through the entire process. Yes, we do. So for individuals, you can do it for individuals and businesses and individuals, right? Take yeah. me through the, the scenarios. Uh, for individuals, it will be the basic Act 22. So that one is very simple. And we just tell them what they need to do to comply with the 183 days they need to reside here in Puerto Rico to get the benefits for the grant tax incentives. So take me through the business aspect. Oh, the business app aspect is also very easy. As long as your company gives like an export service, it qualifies. So we even do the, if they need to hire staff, 
manage their business, everything. We help them with everything. And you guys seeing a lot of business coming from the people that we're going to go to like the Cayman Islands or somewhere else? Are they coming here? Yes, everybody likes because they feel Puerto Rico is part of the United States, but then yeah. we don't pay federal, federal taxes. So they have that great benefit. So they're moving a lot of the companies here. So since the hurricane, obviously there's been a lot of effort in the US and, and focus and attention on helping Puerto Rico. Been tried, there's been, and there's been stories good and bad. But as the new blockchain and the um, Bitcoin cryptocurrency um, uh, newly minted millionaires and billionaires come in, um, how has the culture reacted to that? If they seem to be open arms. Um, has it been well received? What's some of the feedback uh, that's been happening here in Puerto Rico with the new uh, in-migration of uh, folks? Yes, it's very well received and it's amazing because uh, this group of the blockchain, it just came after Hurricane Maria. So people were amazed like, wow, they're still considering moving yeah. here and help the island even after this big natural disaster. So it gives hope to a lot of people here and is helping the island to do a lot of more progress. And what's great is the island's first of all beautiful, but with the infrastructure opportunity to reboot it and reset new infrastructure, all the tech geeks, this is blockchain, they're like tech nerds. They love the high speed internet, they want to have the good infrastructure, and the schools have now connected blockchain. I talked to an entrepreneur here uh, uh, two days ago where he's linking all the schools, educational institutions, the colleges with blockchain to create a community. So there's kind of a nerd nation merging here in Puerto Rico, isn't there? Yes, <laughs> yes, it's amazing that we've been considering for all that. Okay, well, thank you for coming on and explaining the Puerto Rico Advantage. Also, her partners are Jennifer Brockman and Angela Brookman. You guys are doing a great service. Yes. Thank you for what you do. Um, I think a lot of people that I've talked to really appreciate it. Uh, for yes. folks who want to come to Puerto Rico and help out and contribute, but also get some real advantages for the businesses and as an individual. Uh, the tax breaks and the benefits are, are significant here and it's part of the US, so great stuff. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you a lot. More live coverage here in Puerto Rico. I'm John Furrier, the host of theCUBE. We'll be back after this short break. <laughs>